a professor of paleontology is halfway done in creating a chicken hybrid relating to a dinosaur, calling this the Chickenosaurus. The toothy snout of the Chickenosaurus is already there at his lab at Harvard Medical School. This is the first ever and unpredictable experiment ever carried out to resurrect the Jurassic era. In this video, we are going to dive into what this experiment is all about. Since birds are the only surviving members of the family tree of the dinosaurs, why can't we flip some switches in the genetic code and return a chicken back to its former glory as a dinosaur? Talk of a chickenosaurus lit up the science world when researchers announced they had modified the beak of a chicken embryo to resemble the snout of its dinosaur ancestors. But although some experts have lauded the feat, a beak is just one of many modifications needed to revert a chicken into a dinosaur. Professor Horner has long supported the idea of modifying a chicken to look like a dinosaur, and unlike the researchers on the latest study, he actually wants to raise a live one. And why stop there? By understanding how and when to modify certain molecular mechanisms, countless changes could be within reach. As Horner pointed out, a glow-in-the-dark unicorn is not out of the question. There are four major modifications needed to make a so-called chickenosaurus, Horner said. To turn a chicken into a dinosaur-like beast, scientists would have to give it teeth and a long tail, and revert its wings back into arms and hands. The creature would also need a modified mouth, a feat accomplished by the researchers who did this latest study, he said. This Dino Chicken project was likened to the Moon Project we know we can do it, it's just there are, some huge hurdles Horner said. And then there's the unexpected finding that revealed the complex task at hand. When the group transformed the beaks of chicken embryos into snouts, they also inadvertently changed the chicken's palate, or roof of the mouth. The group is currently working on giving the chicken a long tail, arguably, the most complex part of making a Dino Chicken, he said. For instance, they just screened genes in mice to determine what types of genetic pathways block tail development. This knowledge could help them figure out how to switch on tail growth, he said. For him, the chickenosaurus is about answering the biggest question of all, how does evolution actually bring us here? If dinosaur-like features, such as a snout and teeth, were to be restored, they wonders whether the brain wouldn't rewire itself in some way that would permit these animals to use these dinosaur features. They've got all sorts of genetically modified animals already just from breeding. So this is one of the reasons making a dino chicken is a big deal, and we, could, make a glow-in-the-dark unicorn. Basically, we can make anything we want, I think, once we understand the genes, Horner said. Dot Horner and Harris agree that the research involved in designing a chickenosaurus could pay scientific and medical dividends. Research into factors that influence embryonic tail growth could lead to new treatments for spinal disorders. Understanding more about the mesenchyme tissue, cells that develop into circulatory, lymphatic and connective tissue, of chicken embryos that direct the growth of teeth may eventually have applications in treatment of human sarcomas, which are cancers of mesenchymal cells. As all small dinosaurs did, the chickenosaurus would have feathers. Jurassic Park got that wrong, though the creator of the film's special effects is making it up to Horner. George Lucas has funded most of the cost of the chickenosaurus project thus far, and the final price tag is expected to be relatively low. I'd be really surprised if we don't have them in 10 years. If we're lucky, we'll have them in 5 years. Horner said they wouldn't need more than $5 million. If they did have $5 million, then we would have three different labs working on it. So expect a new chicken breed in your yard, and be ready to play the Jurassic game with them. I hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe and hit the notification for more exploratory videos.